Hey there guys, Josh with Seppel, and welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Uh, it's now time for Bentley to have a nice uh, go at things. And... Haha, -ha, you're asleep. Oh no, that ain't good. Oh! Uh, Bentley, being the weakest of the gang, completely uh, weak, you definitely want to kind of avoid any kind of confrontation you possibly can with Bentley. He's not that good in terms of fighting. But, uh, as you saw at the beginning here uh, that I did, he makes up for it by being able to put enemies to sleep and dropping bombs. Oh, no. So now we can make all the poop jokes like we had during uh, no, L1. There we go. L1 lets me throw a bomb and detonate it when I want. Yes, that's one of the, the what is it, abilities that I got off screen? Or did I get that on screen? I can't remember. But uh, that's one of the things. I got all the available abilities and I collected some of the treasures uh, while off screen, off camera, whatever. I uh, didn't collect any bottles. So this is that, but let's jump right in. These look kind of, uh, worrying. Oh, wait, no, they're not. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, there we go. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to cancel that. Let's go ahead and, uh, shoot him. Run up to him and... Drop a bomb. <laughs> Drop a bomb. Uh, poop jokes are always hilarious. Definitely always hilarious. Ooh. That's a big disco ball. I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk. Now I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. That is really some strategic planning there. To think that these support beams would really have any effect on that little, like, peacock. Well, it's not a little peacock decoration. It's a big peacock decoration. Although, when you look at it, it kind of doesn't look like a peacock. It it does and it doesn't, I guess, because of the art style of the game. It just really doesn't kind of come across as a peacock at all. Let's go ahead and uh, get him... Uh... Oh, he just stuck to the ceiling. That is a note I have to leave myself that... Uh... Stick to the ceiling. Boop -doop, boop -doop, boop -doop. Whoa. Why isn't he asleep? I. Oh. Uh, no, no, I hit him. That time I hit him. Dang. They just really want to stick to the ceiling. There we go. Much better. That's what I've been trying to do. This guy, walk right into it. Skadooby. He's not gone. Oh man, he won't walk any forward anymore. Oh, all right. Let's just put him to sleep. Well, I run away. Wait a second. Isn't this a uh? A support beam that I gotta blow up? I completely skipped over this one. I guess the little uh, icon goes away. Maybe. I don't know. I'm back here. No, that's a support. Okay. No, I just blew that one up. So why isn't that one a support beam? Whatever. What, is that a lake? That is. Look at that. That's water. It's a very odd placement for a nightclub, though cool view. Just odd placement. All right, where's the last one? Over here. Is that the last one? Probably. There we go. That must be where. Oh, hey, no, I've been up there before. And it all comes crashing down. It's big enough to shake a peacock off its foundations, but not to make a dent in the wow, floor. Bentley. We felt that all the way back here at the safe house. And you were right. The peacock 
Hawk sign and half of its bolts pop off on impact. Oh, that all the way to the safe house. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, fellas, the dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here! You know, I honestly thought that, uh... I don't know, something in my mind... I thought that uh, there was another whole round of missions to do after that. I guess not. Uh, who starts that mission? Bentley. Uh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna collect some uh, some clue bottles because I'm missing two more. And I'm gonna go find those two more and I will show where they are. But. Uh, after that, I guess I will see you guys for, as Bentley, for the start of the final mission. Alright guys, one more, apparently. Never mind, they're both right here. I, you know, I was hoping they would be close together and they were. So instead, what I'm actually going to do is just zoom right to the safe real quick, and we'll see what that is. See what that uh, is got in the safe. All right. Uh, I'll see you when we get back to the safe then. Okay. Here's the safe now, Bentley. What's the code? Two, three, one. Whoa. Okay. Nope, nope. Three. One. That was awkward. Knockout dive. What does that do? Uh, let's put that on L2 and see what happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Well, now, isn't that a beautiful picture? Uh, <laughs> okay, we got the knockout dive. I. Uh, I don't think it was coming across very well in the video how awkward it was to control that. All of the number pads, all on, all of the numbers were designated to an area on the D-pad. So up was two, down was eight, um, left was four, and right was six. Middle of force was five. So in order to hit, not triangle, uh, in order to hit the three and the one, I had to do a diagonal, and I was just expecting to be able to move to the number, but nope, I guess not. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get that final mission started. Okay, now after the series of jump cuts that was just happened, let's go ahead and start this uh, operation that I already forgot. Was it down Peacock? I I don't remember. Uh, we're heading over here. Okay, let's just run. I doubt uh, anything will really come after us. Oh, let's go ahead and. Uh, Put him to sleep. I didn't think that was gonna work because once they uh, once they see you, you can't put them to sleep for some reason. It's a bit awkward. All right, Murray. Let's hope I can do this on one try. I have some trouble with this sometimes because he'll bounce off. Nope. Didn't mean to hit circle. I meant to hit R1. Completely backed out of it. Nope. R1 doesn't do it. Square. Wait a minute, that was directly on there. Okay, hopefully we don't have to go montaging this. Hmm. Let's just do it right there, right in the direct center. No, okay. 
How about right there? Finally. You see how hard that was? It's a lot more difficult than it should have been. Okay, Murray. Let's, you know, toss me back up there again. I had it aimed for directly in it. How did that miss? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Fine. There. Don't you fall off. Whoa! Did you see that? There was like a frame for a single frame. Bentley was upside down. That was weird. Okay, let's go ahead and divert this. Hopefully, uh, I can do this. Usually, I'm not too good at, uh, valve puzzles. <laughs> no, I, I am, I'm not usually, because there's just, like, when it turns off, and no, that was not the way I needed it to go. Uh, which way is is it this one? Do I have to turn this one? No. Oh, this one. Duh. Okay, there we go. Wow. Okay. Just randomly pressing buttons did the trick. The water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off, all right. They're already sending right, come on out, bro. To fix it up. Whoa, we just kind of suddenly appeared. Keys to his repair truck without being seen. Without being seen. How am I gonna do that when I got a couple people here just kind of watching his back? So let's uh, do this and avoid everything. Holy crap! Avoid everything. Have that rodent follow us up here? No. Where? Okay. Uh. Knock out dive? Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work at all. Nope. Nope. Bad idea. Bad move. Bad strategy. Well, I mean, it may not have worked how I wanted it to, but at least we have the key to the repair truck. You. All that trouble. Uh, where? Oh, they're right there. Thought I was meeting him. It's all you. You know, closer to the, the truck. truck. Alright. You know, I'm, I'm kind of glad to, to see that this first mission, at least, well, like the first uh, Claw Gang member went by fast a bit. Only four episodes. That's nice, because I, I was afraid that this would be a much longer series. Whoa. I need to get in position on top of the night doing the whole dual perspective thing here they could have like looking back at this I feel like they could have done a little bit better in the transition like because it wasn't that long ago that they had exchanged the the key I think maybe if they just added a meanwhile that would have made all the difference and it would be like oh okay yeah that's what sly was doing while they were all doing that even though they kind of explain what he's going to do, it still is a kind of a little bit of a a little shock to the system. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa, wait a minute. Why am I doing back here all of a sudden? They don't explain that you actually have to do it. And, uh, oh, it's down. All right, let's see if I can get this without an aiming reticule. No, not even close. No. Okay, how about now? Can you get a slide? Okay, he got it. Cool. I thought... Could I not slide down that at all? That was a bit odd. It even had the the thief senses that said, Hey, you know, jump and hit the circle button and something will happen. Something's bound to happen. Design flaw, I suppose. Or maybe uh, it was in the original, the HD version. Yeah, something screwed up a bit. Who knows? Wow, a lot of these low-level minions. And I'm just whacking them with my cane. Look at them. He's not, he doesn't even have a name tag. What, you think you got a chance? <laughs> you should just lay down on the floor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I'm having like a flashback. Did I not use that in the first Sly Cooper? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see. 
I think I used that exact same Austin Powers reference in the first Sly Cooper. Behold the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Do this. Right totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I mean to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. No! Oh, let's dance! That's not dancing, Dimitri. That's just, uh, warping all over the place. Okay, oh! Don't get hit. Okay, I gotta block him. He fires a few, and then... There it goes. His fingers... Oh, it's his ring! All these years! Seriously, all of these years, I've never realized it was his ring that was shooting. I thought it was like his hand. Like he was doing some weird thing with his hand. Holy crap! A revelation happens right as I'm playing the game. Oh, to make me seem even more stupid. Stupider, dumber, a dupe. Does this take me up? Nope. Okay. And a third one. And now this should do it. Oh, nope. Not enough time. Not not nearly enough time. Whoa, hello. Alright, Dimitri. Since you wanna tango, let us tango. Why are you running back and forth, man? Fight me, like a lizard man. You know, in all honesty, his suit does suck. <laughs> oh, don't, oh, oh. Apparently, uh, don't say his suit sucks. It's like heat seeking. That's really weird. Don't hit me. He hits for a lot of damage. Boom. Okay. Like, I wouldn't expect him to be one of the tougher ones. Oh, he's just coming, just coming for me? And that's Dimitri. Defeated. Why would he go after a console at that point? What was he typing in? He take clockwork feathers and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You... <laughs> cracker box! <laughs> My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri, shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. 
Uh, those tail feathers in the cutscene looked nothing like the tail feathers in the game. Bit odd, if you ask me. Uh, I think, honestly, that was a bit of a short episode. Uh, but I don't want to jump into episode two right away. So this is just going to be a shorter episode, I suppose. And that's fine. Uh... Yeah, so next episode, guys, we will jump into episode two and find out what that intense, great-looking guy is. <laughs> this, is a, this is a Tony the Tiger reference. Anyway, guys, I'm going to head on the next one. Hope to see you there.